Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR E4 Crew on part 132. We got Sonoma and Chicagoland in this part. And, oh uh, boy, Sonoma, I'm a little concerned, because obviously we're not going into this with our max stuff. It's going to be about 88 everything with all the mismatch penalties. And we are a couple of million away to the next upgrade, at least for a chassis, which I'm probably going to go with a road course, just because there's more of that compared to short tracks like back-to-back, -back. so... um. That's the plan. We might be able to have enough by Watkins Glen to get the, the chassis and then have 100 everything there and then have 100 everything for the roll pool. But for now, we're going to be struggling. So I don't think we'll do well, but I'm hoping we get a top five to keep our momentum alive. We're going to put the flags to relax yellows just because it's a road course. I don't think having them on strict works too well at a road course because it's just the normal spin can be just yellow. So that's why. Anyways, we'll jump into qualifying and try to have a pretty uh, pretty decent race. Off the final corner, our times have been pretty off the goal time, to be honest. It's been like 135, somewhere around there. And, okay, through 134.8. And that's 12th. That's honestly not too bad, all things considered, because we have a big mismatch penalty. But I don't know what we could do in the race. I'd like to try to get a top five, but I just... We're going to have to get lucky, I think. But anyways, we'll jump right into it. Are we going to start any better? Nope. Okay. So we're on a 7 slider. I dialed it back from what I usually go with an 8. So I bumped it down to a 7 just because it just it's way too loose. It's just too unstable. So I went down just one click just to hopefully just be a little more consistent and not try to have any wrecking. Obviously, Austin Dillon and Ty Dillon, both the Spoon brothers, went to the back. So that's good to see. Because, you know, sometimes spoons need to be replaced. Or sometimes spoons have issues. You know, you can't use the same spoon all the time. But anyways, um, five lap stage. I don't think pins could be a factor at all, obviously. I don't know if we'll, anyone will pit during a stage break. But we had a really good start. Went from, what, 12th to 8th in just that little bit there. So that was nice. And we just got to wait for this field to kind of thin out. And just then we can kind of see where this car will uh, shake out as we bump Alex Bowman for no good reason. Somehow, some way, we, me and Kyle Bush both like simul. Oops, sorry, Kyle. <laughs> like simultaneously, like, oh boy, <laughs> that was a little. Kurt, I'm sorry, Kurt. I'm trying to save you. Okay, we're good. Kyle, we're Kyle. You okay? You just pushed like three people off the track. Well, good job, Kyle. What? Kyle, what? I'm hurt. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, well. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was just. That was some big time clownery. Kyle Bush just. That, that was like the one Sonoma race here in like 2008 when like Harvick like braked really late and like turned three people because of it. It was something like that. I don't know if I'm remembering it right, but I remember it was being about as stupid as, as what that was. But I saved Kerr. He didn't lose any spots, so that's nice. Ooh, oh my god. We, I don't think they're... Oh boy. We got a little loose there. Okay, I gotta take it easy in that one <laughs> that one corner. I kind of break like what I normally would, and they... um. Yeah, I didn't, it didn't really... I mean, it was almost going to turn well until Kyle Busch forgot to turn. He might have thought he was on the wrong course, but... Oh my god, we're going, going for second? Well, holy shit, I didn't think the car had that much in it to even be up this far, but... I'll take it. I'll finish off stage one here in second. Oh my god, Jay's Ellie just pulled away. To, to, like, such a length, I can't even comprehend it. Like, he was... Oh my god, he gained, like, three... He's, like, three seconds faster than me. It's just despicable. We'll pit here, I think. No, they're staying out. Well, okay. Well, we do have damage, but everybody should be able to make it on fuel. Well, I mean, the only chance we have of, I guess, winning, is if we get a good enough restart, clear Elliot, and then just block the whole way. But I don't really know if the car is gonna. I don't know. It was a good start. Um. Oh, we're at the preferred lane going into this next corner. Wow, we did it. Wow. Um. All right, now we're just gonna block. Right. 
And this is why the Sonoma Road Course is really fucking stupid, because of shit like that. Damn it, man. We were doing actually really well. We were holding them off nicely, and then we just blew it because this track is stupid. Alright. Well, I'm starting to get a little triggered. Can't stand how this thing keeps fucking wanting the tripod. Well, maybe it does make sense. I don't know, but I'm just, it's annoying. Wow. I mean, I'm just finding new ways to just choke, like, positions away in this race. I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. Ryan Blaney? No. Alright, we'll, uh, finish off stage two. I mean, fourth, but... That's not bad considering we have damage and our, we have a mismatch penalty, so <laughs> we, we are at a big time disadvantage. We'll pit here, we'll repair our damage, we'll probably fall back to maybe 6th or 7th or something, but I mean, we did pretty well as is, so a top 5 is definitely a realistic goal to get. Yeah, we only really lost a spot. I thought it would be maybe one more, but Suarez choked, he lost 4 spots. I saw Harvard gain 4, so interesting little bits of stuff going on. Now with our car fully healthy maybe just maybe we can get the lead here and hold uh, hold it off a little bit better than last time but it's kind of hard to when the track's really goofy <laughs> and it sucks because like I don't mind racing here it's just when you have elevation changes like this the game just doesn't really like to do that very well especially in the new like old carousel thingy it just all oh, it just it really hates it so it's just not a good time Hamlin I Leave it to Hamlin to just choke again in, a, in another way. Like, he's such a bum. It's been pretty uneventful so far. Not a whole lot's going on. I'm just kind of racing the track. Uh, Boyer and Blaney are kind of there behind me, just just waiting for me to make a mistake. But thankfully, I have not done it yet. But I'm sure now that I said it, I probably will. Yep. Because <laughs> shit like that, and Ryan Blaine just ass-packed me in the face. Thanks. Thankfully that didn't hurt me too much, I didn't lose too many spots, but... <sighs> That's what I mean, the thing is just so... It's so wonky at road courses, it's always been like this, even in Dirt's Daytona, it's just... Four games! We still can't get the cars to not act like, like, a, like an idiot at road courses. What the fuck is that? The tree. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Thanks, game. This track is so bad. It's. I'm a roller. Where do you think you're going with that? God fucking damn it, man. It's just. Oh. This is just so stupid of a track. Oh my god. I'm just gonna pit now just because. What else do I have to lose at this point? We're just gonna go with rights, not repair damage. 1.5. I don't even know if this would even help taking rice. I don't know. It's just our top five's ruined because the track is just I oh. Ooh. This might have saved me. I wish I was taking four tires though, but um Oh my, this is gonna bone a lot of people. Hmm. Wow, we might have just cheesed the top five out of this now. And we are in fifth. And Chase Elliott back in the lead. Everything cycled back through perfectly. I don't know what the yellow came up for, but if it's not... I mean, I wrecked and put Almirola into the wall. And that wasn't the yellow, so I don't know what is actually going to constitute a full course yellow. That's not the case. Oh my god, Ryan Blaney, hello. Ooh boy. All right. We have a couple of corners here that where we can really just take advantage of the AI being kind of slow here on the start. So, oh boy, that was rough. Still side by side. Stop with the sideways shit. Wow, even the AI have a hard time getting through there. You see them like wiggling. <laughs> Jeez, hell, it really just got out of shape there. Well, we're in the top five, which is good. It's not really a green white checkered, but we should be fine as long as they don't kill anyone through here. Okay, well, that didn't really 
work out as good as I thought. Hello, Blaney. Just, okay, we made it. Kyle on the white. Why he did that, but I'll take third, sure. God damn it. I don't know. It's just... A, where do you think you're going, Kyle? I have to, like, arc it, you know? I have to make the fucking corner, for God's sakes. This is just not gonna work. I just got a bad feeling about it. I should have took four, but how would I know that a yellow would have came out? I mean, I, I literally died for, like, ten seconds and no yellow. Kyle, can you can you make the fucking corner? Alright, well, me and Kyle are gonna have a problem here, because you can't make the fucking corner. White flag, thank God. This has been... A chill for a big chunk of it, but it... Oh, this game pisses me off sometimes. It really does. But thankfully, all is good right now. Okay, the car can't turn. This is like the one big corner where they can really uh, make a pass on me, but as long as I... If I lose this top five, I'm gonna be... Oh, wait a minute. We could still get fourth. Oh, Kyle stopped. Go! Go! <laughs> we got fourth. I don't know what the hell Kyle did there. He just stopped, but he just... I mean, I appreciate that, but... Oh, that was just frustrating. God, we were so slow compared to Chase. Like, at one point, he was like 10 seconds in front of me, and I was in second. As usual, we don't have a clue what the yellow was. I mean, we have this incident at lap 24 where I... I don't know what happened. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It was just a comedy of errors. I mean, then I hit Suarez, and then I got pinned back, and I back up, and I basically put Amarola in the, the opening of the wall there with no safer barrier. <laughs> and that wasn't a yellow, so I don't know what actually brought the last yellow, but it's uh, it's a mystery. Finishing results, Chase Elliott with the win. Ken's at six. Parker Kligerman, seventh. Damn. The ben is in 12th, and Jimmy 13th. Uh, Logano, 23rd, yuck. And I was still last, so I guess he was the one that brought out the yellow. I don't know, but good earnings, good payout. Probably about 800000 if I had to guess. No, 900000 wow. All right, well, that's pretty good. Damn, that's pretty, that's really good. I mean, half our, earth, our merch payout is so insane at this point. And, I mean, we led a lap. We led a lap today. That was I wasn't expecting that. Moderate savings. It's a little bit of a concern because if we do, like, do another speedway at some point, that means our savings are going to be around, like, in 98 and then maybe 99. I don't know. Just something to think about. But we do get a good chunk of burnings. Wow. Really, the only person Kyle Busch had to save. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. And that's it. Well, <laughs> and we, oh, we actually get our uh, sponsor thingy there. That's cool. We'll select the car for uh, Chicago Land and get that stuff all situated. As far as lap slider concerned, because we only led one. Okay, it says two. I don't remember when I led two, but you know that's why we have a stack strat <laughs> stack stack counter to figure all that out. So nine ninety three times four thirty nine seventy two. I don't really think that gets us anywhere in the ranks, though. I remember the person above me was a. A good bit ahead of me. With 39.72, we are still under Dick Hutcherson with 40.45. So, yeah, we still got a ways. Saying that I'm under Dick is just... <laughs> sounds so wrong. <laughs> we'll get all this stuff situated here with uh, Chicagoland. We'll put those uh, flags back to strict. And I will catch you all in the next race. Before we go on Chicagoland, uh, settings same as usual. Based on some practice laps... Uh, I, I don't know. This might be a race where it's going to be really tough. It might be one of the more harder tracks in the schedule, which is based on our times. We were getting right around like 11 to 15. So um, I'm a little concerned. But at least we're going into this with the best stuff humanly possible, so we have that. So let's go into qualifying and just just see where we, where we stack. Off turn four, usually our times range around about a 30.4. I had to guess. Oh, yeah, it was exactly that. And it's 11th. Wow. It's almost like as if I knew exactly what I was talking about for a change. That's really nice. So, who got pulled? 
At least Ganassi is one too, so that that's cute. But all right, well, I'm upset. Anyways, okay, we're we're tenth now. Somebody uh, went to the back. Okay, it wasn't Kansas, so I guess that's good. Uh, Newman is fostering goodwill. Kurt Busch went to the back. Well, okay, well that's that sucks. I don't know why we need drafting buddies at Chicago Land, but whatever. I don't know why it said that, but anyways, we'll see what we can do in said race. 19 laps for a stage, just kind of like a typical mile and a half, so. When we do pit, it'll be just a standard, you know, right side tire sort of stop. Then maybe we can cheese the stage win based on that, because I think the AI, might, the AI might take four tires, if I had to assume. But the only thing we could do now is just try to stay in the draft and just see just, you know, how well the car just does. As of right now, I mean, it's not bad. So, that's pretty cool. Kenseth just lost the lead right away. That's just funny. William Byron is leading, too. That's even more stranger. We have a great run. Almost too good of a run. Because we'll almost slap the track and almost give up all the spots we just gained and maybe we lost it. One thing I learned is that Brad's very fast. He just drove right by me. Hamlin choking again like usual. And Kyle Busch is in the lead. It seems like all is back to normal in the universe. We've had more lead changes in this in these four laps than we did in like the first like two hundred or what two hundred plus laps of the Coke six hundred in real life in twenty twenty. <laughs> it's just Oh, that race sucked so much. I hate it. I just don't. I just, that was just, that was just a sad day. Okay, Eric Jones. Eric, what the f what did I just say? That was not Eric Jones. That was Tyler Reddick. Good lord. Well, that was almost going to be like a really cool sort of pass, but it didn't really work. And Hamlin has to just touch me. And there I go again, losing the spots I just gained. Well, we're side by side with Brad, and we do have Hamlin's draft to hopefully get us. Oh, really? Uh, really? <laughs> I just want to pass someone cleanly. Why can I not do that today? Oh my dear lord, this car just hauls ass on the straightaways. The the suck up action is just otherworldly with this car. I just wish it was a little bit better in the corner so we can actually make some ground up on the leaders because we are losing time with them every single lap. However, that moves us up to... Nope, I was going to say third, but then I hit the apron like an asshole. Can I actually maintain it? Oh, wow, I blocked. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep third then. Believe it or not, we are actually closing in on the leaders just a little bit. It was about 1.9 seconds. Now it's about 1.5, so... We're closing in a little bit, which is really nice to see. Took the car nearly the entire fuel run to get to this point, but we're, we're faster than them, finally. Ooh. Well, Harvick blew up. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Well, both of them did. Uh, no, it was just... Okay, it was Kyle Busch. Wow. Oh, um, Alright, well, new leader in the field is freaking out trying to get around him. I'm pinning this lap. I'm actually kind of amazed that um, it kept me in third as he was blowing up, because in heat two and three and stuff, it would make you lose the, or gain those spots like right away. Alright, four tires in fuel. Not four tires in fuel, just right sides and all that. Up oh, that and just see if we cheese the stage one out of this again. Like, we've done a lot this year. Eight seconds stop. We're the first out of pit road, which is, which is good. Nobody else yeah, if this plays out, we're going to probably BS a stage win. And to answer anyone's question, yes, we did. Yes, we did. It worked out. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that was a really chill stage. I guess stage two would be basically the same thing. We may lose the lead and drop back a couple spots, but as long as it stays green, we'll just do that strategy again, and then we'll just win by, like, damn near nine seconds like before. I can't fucking stand them poking their goddamn nose in the... Like, how is that even going to work? 
It didn't, Brad. It didn't. In fact, it just gave your teammate the lead, which might have been his plan all along. Wow, look at that. Look at look at what Harvick did, Brad. T take notes. Take notes, because that's how you pass someone. That's all I ask. It's just, just to be confident. Don't be a dumbass. The inside of Tyler Reddick for third. That should be for a pretty easy spot. And then after him, then we're probably just going to relax for probably the majority of the stage until we pit. That a boy, Brad. When, when are you going to learn? When, when will you learn? And... Oh, and Suarez is going to get boned because of that. Well, good job, Brad. Good job. Good job, Brad. God damn it. Can we even make it to the end on fuel? I don't know. Well, I, they're going to have the pit still. So I'm going to pit... And just like that, we just won stage two because they just did a terrible pick, terrible pick call. I'm honestly amazed again just how well pitting there worked out for us. I didn't think we would get back to almost where we were before in like three laps. <laughs> Jeez, if it comes down to green white checkered, I might as well just take four tires and fuel and we can damn near get to a top five finish. I mean, it's just, it's just despicable. I have no words and we're gaining time on leaders. You love to see it. Even if they don't Hit. Even if they can make it to the end on fuel, I think we're going to just beat them just straight up on speed. Okay, it took us a little bit, but we finally caught up to Harvick and Logano. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it, it, they're definitely they're definitely the, 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 the cream of the crop, if, if that's the, the right word to use. Hooray! We cleared Harvick. It, again, he put up a fight, but now we got to catch Logano. Oh no, I think he's pitting. That looked like a pitting sort of thing there. I'm just going to go up high if say. Oh, yes, he is. Well, there goes the field order. There goes the... Oh, boy, the field order is going to be really, really weird now. <laughs> or the stage can end because of a yellow. Oh, my God. Well, I think poor Lagano just got trapped a lap down because of all that. Kyle Busch, who blew up, is now in 13th. How does that work? How do you blow an engine, throw another one in, and then run 13th, and then make your way up through the field? I'm, I'm confused. Game, I need help with this. So we're going to pit four tires and fuel like usual. Probably lose the lead here on the start at some point, or just have the, some, some jackass dive bombing in there. Funny enough, Brad's right behind me, so I'm sure that will happen for the third time in this race. Alright, well, it was fun of all lasted, and then we're going to fall back a little bit. I'm just going to back out. I don't, don't want to get killed. Can we get to the bottom lane again, please? No? God damn it. <laughs> Alright, um... This is a bad idea. I should just, I should just let, let Austin Dillon have his fun in the sun in the sandbox. But instead, I tried to fight him for it, and I lost. The inside is Suarez, because our car is just so good on the damn straightaways that we just pull up on him. And I don't even think that's enough to clear him, so, um... Alright, we'll have to try again next time. All right, well, this lap, can we clear Suarez? Uh, no, I can't. All right, well. Uh, the only thing I can say... Oh, wow, we got another good run. Okay, I wasn't expecting to try to make a pass on Austin Dillon and Harvick, but it still didn't work. Okay, this lap, we for sure have to you know, get the spot on Suarez. We have, like, multiple car links on him. Please? I think we will, but Kyle Busch is just coming out of nowhere and he's going to take the limelight and... Yet again, it's a classic case of gaining a spot and then losing one right away. As we have another good run to turn three, that won't amount to anything. This is some pretty intense racing, I gotta say. We were three wide for about a lap, it seemed like. It seems like things are starting to kind of settle out here, finally. Trying to keep the car pinned to the bottom, not trying to hit the apron, as I did just that. But the car does definitely come alive right at the end of a run, so... 
if it does play out, we do have lap traffic that should be a factor, and also just a little bit of long run speed too, so it looks bad now, but it we could still have a shot at the win still. Nice little run off turn two, get the draft, get side by side with Harvick, try to side draft them. I actually didn't hit him. Hooray, that was like an actual real life race car move. That puts us in the second, only 1.5 back from Brad. And it's gonna fluctuate a little bit, but we should start to close in on him now. Oh, Brad. <laughs> We're closing. We're catching them bit by bit every lap. It's maybe maybe two tenths a lap or maybe three. It's 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 something. It's progress. And we're getting there. Oh, this is good stuff. How many of you pin this lap? I think I just merged like six words together. Brad's doing the same. Slow down. I don't know if I'm going to beat him down pit road. 45. Perfect. We actually did beat him down pit road. Barely, but we did. All right, just four tires and fuel, and then we'll be out. 15.1 second stop. I don't see Brad anywhere behind me, so we are definitely going to cycle out. Okay, not that far in front of him, but a decent amount. And also we have lap traffic too that should play a factor in all this, so this is going to get very interesting because he's clearly much faster than me in the short runs. And alright, back on the track. And what's the gap? Almost a second. Oh boy. This is going to be an all-out brawl for the win now. And back into lead we go. We have lap traffic two in front of us. That should play a factor. Brad's closing in a little bit. So now we just got to have lap traffic absolutely bone Brad as much as possible. Okay, good. We got lap cars. We got a good chunk of them here. I don't, I don't know where, how Brad's going to get through them. Ooh. Oh, oh, Cody Ware. Thank you, you moving chicane. Thank you. He held him up, and he's still holding him up. What an absolute dumbass. Oh my god, he's still holding him up. They're literally pinning him. <laughs> it's a freaking Cody Ware and Daniel Hemmerich just, they just pitted Brad. It's like he can't go anywhere. Oh, that's awful. He finally gets around him, but he lost like a, like a seven tenths on me. Okay, good news. Corey LaJoy and Landon Castle are racing each other, which is good. We'll go three wide and get by him, no problem. Brad's still going to be stuck behind them. It all depends on how he catches them in the corner. He's going on the super high lane, but he's going to probably get trapped up there. So, man, Starcom just has been a big savior in this group. I don't know what it is. Okay, never mind. He just went on the outside of it. Okay, well, I thought that would be a little bit more of a help to me than it was. I think Brad just got held up by Ty Dillon. I don't know why Jimmy's in 26. That's not, that's not right. He should be at least in, like, the top 15. But whatever. Whatever. Maybe Jimmy will hold him up. I don't know, but... It's, it's looking good. I mean, he's we're just... Oh, he's holding them up. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Two to go. We don't have too much lap traffic in sight. Just Newman and somebody else. Might be Mike, uh, Michael McDowell, but we pulled, we're pulled starting to pull away a little bit. The car is starting to come alive a little bit. We're right at the end of the run. We're right at the end of the fuel run, so that's good. We have a second. We've been really lucky. Just Brad catching lap traffic at the wrong time. Me getting down pit road as fast as I could and actually was able to get it like a car like on him. And off turn four. Just gets a line. Gets a line. Perfect. White flag. All right. Be beautiful. The race is now official. And now we just gotta just... The game tried. It really tried. Well, suck it. I won it. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> the Jeez. Oh, it oh, my God. It tried. It really... Oh. Whatever, we want it. Good. Oh, that's a great, that's a great feeling. I didn't think I really had the car to do it, at least at this track. But I, I somehow did. <laughs> that was nice. It was nice to just have a run just play out. Because that was really nice. Well, we'll do our classic little burnout. I'm so proud of myself. I'm able to, like, learn how to do this a little more efficiently. Oh, oh, is this the dream burnout? No, no, it wasn't, but... It was okay. It was pretty good. This one in Kansas, that was like great racing. <laughs> I like that was good shit. Finishing results time. Um, it's all it's all messed up. But Stanhouse with a top ten and pretty normal. Austin awesome Dillon sixth. I really can't believe I won that. I thought we had a good enough car to get a top five, but not a win. Like that just oh my god, a million dollars. Good god. <laughs> oh my god. That merch payout is getting insane. God. 
Well, that's our 11th win of the year, and no idea how many laps we led, but I, I can't imagine we led the most. Come on, we did. 28 of the 67 laps. I could have fooled Moon. <laughs> could have fooled me. Also, Kyle Busch, who died with the tire issue, got third. Just want to point that out. Also, Kurt started last and got to eighth. Smooth driving, you love to see it. 8.9 million total, and we do get our incentive contracts. That's another 600,000. So that means we have enough to get a road course chassis. Hooray, 9.5. We have enough for it. I think we do. I, <laughs> I think. Uh, nope, nope, you're not getting on my boat, Austin Dillon. No, we're not being friends, Chase Elliott. Cody Ware. I mean, thank you for being a bum in the race, but no, I have to insult you. Uh, no, we can't go to... I mean, I, I honestly should because you did help me win that race by being a moving chicane, but no. Nope, nope, Daniel. Daniel, what, Daryl? Yeah, there we go. Jimmy, no. Uh, Truex, no. Uh, stop being a simp, Ty Dillon. Austin Dillon and Ty Dillon are big-time simps in his universe. They just, like, constantly are hitting on me, and it's a little, a little creepy considering my driver's a girl, so it just makes things a little, a little more uncomfortable. Well, anyways, ooh. Oh, still the same stuff. I thought we would get a bigger uh, payout thing, but we didn't. However, we could finally get another chassis, which... It'll be a road course, so we'll go into Watkins Glen and the Rover with 100 stuff, so... Hooray. Sure, why not? Because this is really, like, the last time we'll have a... Uh... No, I guess we can finally add new more employees, but the problem is... Uh, we don't really have enough money to do other stuff like that until maybe next race, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. 18 fucking million dollars for the last chassis. It went up by times two. Like, what kind of shit is that? It... <sighs> they have got to fix that sort of system. That is absolutely outrageous. <laughs> like, it, sh it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be done like that. That's just so artificially broken. Well, uh, let's start hiring people. <laughs> We're going to have like three teams of three at this point or something. Obviously, we don't have enough money to really do all this in like one sitting, but... Yeah, we'll go with... We'll go with nine there. And then next race, we should have enough money to get another employee and then stack up their stats and stuff. Because I just want that road course chassis just to be good because we're starting it off like at 70, so... I just want that to be like decent like I want everything to at least be around like a 78 roughly before we get into Watkins Glen so it's not that big of a deal like we definitely can do it I think next race we'll do that and get all that up. so yeah so stat time where's my there it is that's under okay well okay hello so 1021 times 4 4084 does that finally surpass us over over dick Actually, it does. In fact, it leapfrogs us over two people. So now we are above Bobby Labonte, but under Sterling Marlin. We are almost at the top 50 for lap slid. We're, we're, we're almost there. I didn't expect to leapfrog two people. I didn't even think of who, who was above the, who, the, the dick guy. <laughs> I, I didn't know, but now I do. With our 21st career win, that ties us with a couple of people. Uh, one is Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Benny Parsons, and Jack Smith. And that now puts us around 38th all time. And then after that, it's Terry Labonte with 22, and then Ricky Rowe with 23, and then nobody with 24 wins, so weirdly enough. But, yeah, that's that's cool. We're it's just it's cool to be, to be tied with some of these legendary people in this sport. That's cool. A big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Rollins, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Champ 15, Alan Gray, NASCAR, Number 6, .org, Bailey Carrier, Drew, Jonathan Carr, and Robert Dillon, Golf People 100, and Crazy All Offer Donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and it goes a very long ways with everything, so I just like to always reiterate how much it means to me, because it really does, and just, just thank you so much for being so, so awesome fans. I'll see you all next part for Daytona and Kentucky, I believe, am I right? I'm right. And then after that is New Hampshire. I mean, last year we absolutely just, just shredded the field beyond comprehension. Like, that's not even like a 
like a hesitant, like, uh, maybe, no, it was just, no, it was just, we just destroyed them. And New Hampshire and Pocono will do really well at Watkins Glen, because we'll have 100 everything, I will do really well there, too. Michigan, yeah, there's, there's a streak from, like, race 19 all the way to the end where we ran top 10 the whole way. So, now with everything maxed out, can we realistically do that here I, in this season? I don't know, but... I mean, we're going to try. <laughs> It'd be really cool to try to hard-ass and win, like, six in a row like we did in the beginning of the year, but is it possible? I don't know, but anyways, I guess that'll do it for me in this part. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.